Hey friends, it's Miss Bab. So we're gonna go back and do a little bit of vocabulary talk about our math topic, which is time. Now, when we're talking about time, I've already told you guys when I did my read aloud, there's two different types of clocks that we can look at. We can look at a digital clock, and that means we're gonna be looking at numerals or numbers that are placed sometimes like you can look at a alarm clock or maybe on mom or dad's phone you can see a digital clock also when you're looking at a digital clock you're going to see the hour first followed by the minutes after the colon so just keep that in mind the second type of clock we might have is an analog clock now an analog clock looks like something that we have in our classroom here's an example of one i've drawn and then i also have a actual example of one here. Now when we're doing an analog clock, it's important to think about these two things. See these little arrows right here? Those are called, this one is called the minute hand. It's the longer of the two hands. And then we also have a shorter one, which is the hour hand. Now on this clock right now, I can tell the hour is six because it's pointing to the six. And then the longer hand's pointing to the 12. When it's straight up like that, that means it's at the hour. So that means if I was reading this analog clock, I would say it's six o'clock. Now we're gonna be practicing a little bit. I'm gonna give you a few examples of what a time would look like on a digital clock and also on an analog clock. And we'll do that together right now. We'll practice first with a time on the digital clock. So I'll give us a time and then we'll practice. So the first time we're gonna practice together is, I'll go ahead and erase my minutes, is 12 o'clock. So on a digital clock, if I'm doing 12 o'clock, I know the hour is 12, so I'm gonna write 12 before the colon. And then after the colon, remember I said it would be zero, zero if it's at the hour. So 12 o'clock, okay? Now if I wanna write it as an analog time, we're gonna use this to practice with that. So if I wanna do 12 o'clock, I'm gonna to have to turn my time around all the way to the 12. Just clock seven. I have to set my phone here for a second. All right, so now, now I'm on 12 o'clock. You can see that my little hand is on the 12 and my big hand is on the 12, okay? So that means it is 12 o'clock. So that's what the clock would look like if it was 12 o'clock. Let's try a different one. Let's say I wanna say it's half past 12 or it's 1230. All I'd have to do is not move the hour hand because I'm still at 12 for the hour. I just have to move the longer hand, the minute hand, down to the six because it will be 12.30. If you look really closely, you can see the 30 right there. So that means that it's 30 minutes past 12 o'clock or 12.30. If I wanted to go over around to one o'clock, I would just move my long minute hand back up to the 12 because there are 60 whole minutes in an hour. So I just moved my long hand up to the little small 60 up here, meaning I'm at the hour. So now this says one o'clock. Let's practice writing one o'clock as a digital as well. So if I wanna write one o'clock as a digital, all I have to do is just change the hour. So I change the 12 to a one. Now we didn't practice writing a digital half hour, so we're gonna practice that now as well. So let's say I wanted to write 12.30 like I practiced on my analog clock. I would go back and erase that. Now I know the hour was 12, so I'm gonna write 12 first because remember the hour comes first and then it's followed by the minutes. Okay, so hour first is 12 and then the minutes. Now remember, I said, if I looked closely, I was at this 30 right here. So it was 12.30 when I showed you guys before. So all I'm gonna write here for the minutes is 30. So I have 12.30, okay? 
All right, we'll practice one more together. I'm gonna erase my digital clock time. I'll leave the colons because we always need those. Now, I want to say that it is 3.30, 3.30. So I'm first gonna use my analog clock and switch the time. So I need to make sure that first my little hand is on the three. Turn it around, now it's on the three. Now I need to make sure it says 30 for the minutes. So I'm gonna take the long minute hand and go down to the 30. So now my analog clock says 3.30. Now all I have to do is fix my digital clock to be the same. So I wanna have three first because that's the hour, so three. And then the minutes is 30. So I'm gonna write 30 right here. Okay. In first grade, we're really going to just focus on the hour time and half past. So if it's on the hour, it would look like th this. If I was saying three, it would be three or three o'clock. Oops. And then if I'm doing 30, remember I'm only moving the long minute hand down to the 30 and it would look like 3.30 on a digital clock. You guys are going to practice with an activity in Seesaw using digital and analog clocks and matching up the digital time to the analog clock time. And I would just suggest you look around and think about some times that you maybe wake up or maybe you go to bed or eat dinner. All those things are at a certain time usually. And you can practice writing your own maybe analog clock or digital clock. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you more about time a little bit later. Bye.